Hello guys, I'm back with another build review. This build is for Cody 18. I've seen a couple of people, you know, downloading one of my old Cody 18 builds. So I've decided to bring a couple of builds over to Cody 18. And it's for Cody 18 only. If you want the Cody 17 Krypton build, it's also available in the Aries Wizard. So um, let me show you around. Here we have our movies. TV shows, live TV, trailers, film, series, your music, your favorites, add-ons, your weather, settings, and we're back to movies. Alright, going up, here you have random movies. And these change during you know, the period of time. Alright, in this one click. All right, that's in 1080. When you click on movies itself, here you have a list of movies. You can scroll through. And this, um, you have two choices of 720p and 1080p. Let me, all right, let's say the cure for wellness. We'll click on that. As you can see this is in 720. Click on the other one. And this is in 1080. Alright. And when you press down you have your recent your genres, your years, your actors. Um, directors, studios, your sets, countries, your tags, and your playlist. Alright, so when you see that I clicked on the movie, you see the widget changes with different movies. Alright, here we have our TV shows. When you press up, let's go into a TV show. Um, let's go into suits. Click on suits. Now these are your latest episodes. It doesn't have, you know, all the seasons. It's the latest season. Alright, so it starts from season 7, so on and so forth. And you have um, two choices. All right, let's back up out of there. When you're clicking on TV shows, and here you also have a list of TV shows, and they're up to date. And the widget also changes in the, you know, in a certain time frame. You press down, you have your TV guide. And when you get to the screen, you press left. And today is Saturday. So this, this TV show is coming on on Sunday. Or you could just click in it. And play the show from there. Alright, you also have your recent, your genres, years, actors, studios, and your playlist. Here you have live TV. Let's click on that. And basically, these are just channels that's, um, it's basically news channels. And um, legal news, ch news channels. Alright, you could press to the left where it says group, you could change it. 
You have your weather. You know, live TV news. You also have our music TV. Let's go into sports. Press back to the right. Give it a couple of seconds to load up. All right. When pressing down, you have TV one, TV one two, TV one three. You have IPTV, and these are your live channels. Let's go into one. All right. You also have your sports down here. Let's go into sports. Let me start from the bottom. Let's go into TSN2. Alright. Let's try another one. Uh, let's try NFL TV. In his rookie back. All right, let's just back up out of there, and you also have your live um channels. So you have 202 um, channels in here. So you have UK channels and um, USA channels. All right. You also have TV1, TV3, stuff like that. Let's go into IPTV. Let's go into all streams. You also have some sports channels here and also some local channels. Alright, let's play one of the local channels. Let's try Comedy Central. All right, USA TV. Some of the channels are hit and miss in here. So um, yeah, some of them work, some of them don't work. As you can see. All right, you also have some UK TV and UK sports. All right, here you have your sports schedule. Let's go to now playing. This is at um, 2 a.m. I believe. It gives me two choices of these channels. Oh, some commercial right now. All right. All 
and it says cycling. Or you could have um, all today's events. So these are the sports that's coming up. Here you have your trailers. You can click on any one of these and or uh, let's click on one of them. Justice League. So you get the information about the movie and you could go to trailers and play the trailer. All right, let's go into the trailer itself. Here you have um Cinema Now. This is um some more trailers. This is coming soon. All right, so when you go all the way to the left, as you see, I only have these three turned on. You could turn these on also, so you have more choices. But for me, I just keep these three on. If you have a track account and your code is configured with track, you could turn that on also if you wish. All right, here we have films. It's your popular movies. Let's click on Wonder Woman. And it's pulling it from the Poseidon add-on. All right. Now, I've noticed, I've been playing around with this a little bit. Now, the add-on does give me a lot of links, especially like 1080 also. Now, I tried to avoid this link. I don't know if it's, if it's my internet connection or if it's, you know, this site. It does. Let me click on it. See, it stutters a little bit and it, it, you know, it lags. So I try to avoid, you know, clicking on that one. Let me go back into Wonder Woman. So I try to avoid direct onyx. You know, let me try the first one, see if that one's good. You can see it's in 1080 and it plays much smooth, um, smoother. All right, let's go into film itself. It takes you to the movie section of Poseidon. All right, so you could go by genre, year, actor, Oscar winners in theaters, great directors, my movies, actors, and search. All right, pressing down in the sub menu, you have Nemesis, you have Fork. Let's go into that. All right, it's also from the um, a section of Poseidon. Let's go into Popular. Uh, let me click on Spider Man. Alright, so we, so we have some 1080p's in here, but like I said, like these two, Onyx, doesn't really do well for me. Like I said, I don't know if it's my internet connection or what, but I try to avoid these two. Maybe it works for you, maybe it doesn't for me. And um, I try free download. All right, as you can see, it's in 1080. All 
All right, let's back up out of there. Here we have Triton. All right, so you have in progress, new movies and theaters, collection, kid collection, so on and so forth. It has the feel of um, the Covenant and um, Elysium and Exodus kind of feel to it. So um, let's go into new movies. All right, let's pick a movie. Going to American Made. It's fairly new. All right, so it gave me a lot of HD links. Let's try the first or the second one is a no. I already know it's a. I'm gonna try the second one also to see what happens since it's in um, 720. All right, let's try this one. The Onyx link. And see how it does. It's a no go. All right, so I try to avoid. For me, at least, I try to avoid the Onyx direct Onyx link. All right, but the direct link for a free download it works pretty good. Or I know Google Link um, works most of the time. All right, let's back up out of there. And you have the Rebirth add-on. The Adam movies, Stream Hub, um, Kayara movies, Valhalla. I don't even know how to pronounce this one. My Riot, Riot, and Covenant. All right, here you have your TV series. Let's click on Stranger Things. And this is the new season. Let me just click on the episode. It's also coming from Poseidon um, add-on. As of lately, this add-on has been giving me great, you know, links. Let's try the first one. Right, it's in 720p, plays nice and clear. Let me skip ahead. All right, let's back up out of there. You click on series itself. It takes you to the TV, um, the TV show section of Poseidon. So you have new TV shows, you go by network, new episodes, actor search and search. All right, in the submenu, you have Poseidon, Triton, Atmos TV shows, Rebirth, Fork, Stream Hub, a uh, name I can't pronounce in Covenant. All right, let me go back to film and go into this one. All right, I know this movie is not going to be clear. Let me. Um, let me 
see something that might have decent quality. These are mostly new movies. Right, let me just try this one. See what happens. So it's from the... It's a dandy. It's one of the dandy and add-ons. See, as you can see, it's um, scraping from um, dandy. Clicked on the first link. Let's go with Kingsman, the Golden Circle, see what type of links it gives me. Right, it gave me some links. Let me try the first one. It's in 720. Let me skip ahead and see how the quality look. It's not too bad. All right, so it's a good add-on. All right, here we have our music. It's our music box videos. All right, clicking on music itself. You have Django. And you also have the music box. Um, you have the different categories for the music box. All right, you have charts. Let's go into charts. You have iTunes top songs, so on and so forth. Let me go into the Django add-on. Maybe it's just me. I just figured this out because I was wondering like how you get the controls um, to be on your screen on my device. I'm on a shield. All right, let me back out. So what I would have to do is, you know, click on my thumb, the, the thumbstick, the right thumbstick, and I will get the controls on the side right here. So where I could skip rewind and stuff like that. I was trying to figure it out. I just figured that out. So for those that don't know and you have an NVIDIA shield, just click on the right thumbstick and um, your, con um, your controls will pop up. All right here you have your favorites folder. So anything you add, your movies or your TV shows to your favorites, it'll be in here. You can also take it out from here. Hit your contacts menu button and remove it all right here you have your add-ons clicking on add-on take you to the add-on browser where you can install from zip file and install from repository oh and one more thing you have an update here I suggest not to update the TV show next aired it doesn't load up it doesn't it, that's the newer version it doesn't load up it just stays there when you click on it so try to avoid updating the next aired add-on all right and then a uh, sub menu you have your videos which take you straight to your video add-ons all right you have your music add-on program add-ons you also have this here for a random movie. You could click on it and it'll automatically play a random movie for you. You picked a movie called uh, Monster Call. Monster Calls. 
So every time you click on it, it'll play a different movie. I'm gonna click on it again. This is not even an English movie, but it is what it is. And you, anytime you click on it, it plays a different movie. All right, you have your my add-ons, install, and search. All right here, you have your weather. To change the weather information, you slide up. Okay, and then you'll go to add-on settings. You go to location, and you'll type your location in there. Okay, so once you put your location in there, you go down where it says OK. You click on it. Okay. Here you have your settings. In the submenu, that's where you'll find your file manager, which will take you to add source. You have update video. So uh, it'll update the movie section and the TV show section. It'll do it in the background, so when you click on it, you'll probably see like, oh, nothing's happening. It's doing it in the background. Or if you would like to see the progress, you'll just go into settings. You go to media. All right. And slide over and then scroll down and you untick this. All right. So next time when you, you update or before you update, you could tick this off. And you'll see the progress. All right, here you have your maintenance. All right, you could clear your thumbnails and your cache, your packages, your logs. All right, it's set to for automatic clean already. And we're back to movie section. All right, so let me show you how to install this build for those that are running Kodi 18. You will go to your file manager. You go to add source. You click on none. You'll type in HTTP colon forward slash forward up oh, messed up forward slash forward slash Aries dash repo dot EU click on done I'm gonna just name it Aries Click on done, go to the side all the way to the right and click save. I like to double check, make sure I typed it in correctly. I click on Aries, I see an item in there and I'm good to go. All right, now we'll go to add-ons. You'll go to install from zip file, click on Aries and then install the repository. All right, I already have it installed. So wait for the notification to come up. And once it's installed, you go to install from repository, go to Aries project, go to program add-ons and install the Aries wizard. All right. So once your notification come on again saying it's installed, it'll be in your program section of Kodi. You go into programs. You go into the Aries wizard. Give it a couple of seconds for it to load up. All right. Now, if you haven't done a fresh install yet, I suggest doing so. Or if you're on a clean Kodi build already, you could go ahead and um, install it. But you'll go into uh, Browse Builds and then you'll scroll down 
to the name Steven and you need to get your pin now on my device it'll automatically pull up the um, my Chrome web browser and that's the pin it gave me 6048 go back into Cody or you could type in that on your do on another device HTTP colon flow slash flow slash bit dot lie full slash build slash um pin and then you'll enter the pin here see what the pin again was 6048 I'm enter the pin 6048 and click on done all right and then you'll scroll down to Leah Cinema Build. All right, you click on that. I'm gonna go ahead and do a fresh start. If you already done a fresh start and you're clean, Cody, you could just go ahead and install it. But I'm gonna do a fresh start. And I'm click yes. Proceed. All right, it says Cody need to be closed. Press OK to attempt to close Cody. Press OK. If you need to unplug your device from your power source to, for you to foreclose it, do so. Now you go back into Cody. Go back into the Aries wizard. All right, and now we'll go to browse builds and then scroll down to Steven again. Um, let me get the pin again. Might be a, the same pin, 6048. I'm gonna enter the pin, 6048. Click on done, oh, I typed it in wrong. 64.8 probably changed again it's 85.10 85.10 now these codes change you know every now and then so it'll never be the same alright so you scroll down to the Leah Cinema Build. Let me wait for the art to pop up so you'll know that you're in the right section. Alright, you click on it and then hit install. Proceed. Uh, I, I wasn't expecting, you know, people to be downloading the Cody 18 build that I have made. It's pretty old. I'm going to be updating that also. I wasn't really paying attention to it. But um, it got a quite a good amount of downloads on it. So I see I would have to update that. So obviously there's, you know, a couple of people out there that run in Cody 18. I like Cody 18. It's not giving me any problems. You know, the, um, as far as Cody Krypton, it was giving me problems with the extended info script, not the mod, the script. You know, it gives me an error and stuff like that. I don't get no errors with um Cody 18 when it comes to the extended info script. 
So, you know, that's why I decide on my main device, I, I am running Kodi 18 on it. I also have a couple of builds out for it, you know, with some of the newer skins that I use, you know, personally. But I try to up the, upload those also. And also, you can see I've cut down on my builds that I have in this section of the Ares Wizard. It was way too many for me to keep up with. And, you know, some of the builds people weren't really downloading. So I'm, the main ones I'll keep. All right, so it's finished downloading and extracting. It says, do you want to back up the skin profile? I just click no, click no again. And then hit OK. Now go back into Cody. All right. Now I'm gonna just let it sit for a minute or two. That goes with any build that you download and install on your system. Just give it a few for it to populate and let it, you know, do do its thing in the background. Let it settle in. Alright, you can also tell that it's doing something in the background when you see on the bottom right where it says logged on busy. So it's busy, you know, getting everything it needs to get. As you can see, the wallpapers, excuse me, the widgets is starting to come in. All right, so here you have it. It's the cinema build for Cody 18. And um, I hope you guys like this build. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. And um, I'll talk to you guys soon.